and welcome to Will It Analyze, where we analyze, well, everything. I have a lot going on right now. I need to pull an all-nighter. I need some way to stay awake. Oh, wow. That's a lot of caffeinated drinks. But which one has the most caffeine and it'll keep me up all night long to get everything done? Boy, I wish I had a lab that I could use right about now. One with a GC and some way to connect it up to the necessary gases without any large tanks. Whoa, a lab on a cart, that works. Uh-oh, it looks like the mini gas needs to be started. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get working on these samples for caffeine. I have here a real classic. I have a soda with a PhD. I have a Brit's favorite drink, talking about tea. And I have an extreme soda. Let's put those into the auto sampler. And now that I have them on the auto sampler, let's go ahead and start our run. I'm going to click on my batch, load it up, and click start. What is it about caffeine that makes us stay awake and gives us energy? Well, caffeine, also known as 1,3,7-trimethylxanthine, is the most widely used central nervous system stimulant in the world. It works by blocking the adenosine receptors and preventing their sleep-promoting effects, as well as preventing the reabsorption of dopamine. Caffeine also causes the release of adrenaline, which gives you that boost in energy. Looks like the mini GC is done. Let's jump into our data to have a look. All right, here we have a standard that we ran previously that shows that caffeine right here elutes at about 10 minutes and 31 seconds. Next, we have a real classic that shows us 0.103 milligrams per milliliter. If we multiply this by the total on the bottle of 355 milliliters, we get 36.5 milliliters per bottle. Comparing that to the labeled value of 34 milligrams per bottle, that's just a bit high. Here we have the soda that has a PhD. It shows the same peak at 10 minutes and 31 seconds. And using that data and our calibration curve, we see that the total caffeine in this soda is 38.5 milligrams per bottle. That's slightly below the labeled value of 41 milligrams per bottle. Here we have a Brit's favorite beverage. I'm still talking about tea. Again, we see the same caffeine peak but it's much smaller, giving us a total value of 19 milligrams per bottle. Last, we have a drink that goes to the extreme. The Mini GC calculated a whopping 118 milligrams per bottle. As you can see, the amount of caffeine varies from the labeled amount. That is because the FDA requires manufacturers only to list caffeine as an ingredient, but there is no requirement to report caffeine amount or for that label to be accurate. In fact, the amount on the label is totally voluntary. To stay up all night, I'm gonna drink this acid green drink, <laughs> caffeine and beverages. Will it analyze? Yes. For more information, please visit our website, luciditysystems.com, and be sure to like, subscribe, and then click that bell icon to get notifications of our next episode.